Right, we're well, we here, and welcome back to the episode of Elden Ring, How to Play a Prophet. So currently we are pretty much where we left off at the end of the last episode. We are at the Church of Ella. Um, as you can see, we have some armor, a helmet, uh, a shield, which was the goal of last episode, and a broadsword. Now, this episode, I've got a couple of things to do. As you notice there, you can see probably my uh, heads-up display, if you like. We have a few map markers, and what I've done is placed a few places that I wanted to visit. Now, our... Uh, the goal for this episode is to take out the Death Touch catacombs here. Well, actually, no, that is uh, Ash of War, I believe, Golden Vale. But there is a catacomb we want to take out. But before we do that, I want to do a couple of things. So there's a couple of locations I want to take out, uh, want to discover. So there is a, uh, a, a side of grace here I want to receive. There's also, um, I think there's a nomadic cookbook here. There's still camps. So we're going to try and take that out. And then we are going to, there's a spirit spring right here, we're going to jump down here. We're going to run up to this point, which should be the artist shack. And we're going to run down and get the map for East Limgrave. We're going to be careful because there's some giant fuck-off bears down here. We're going to avoid those. And then we're going to run up to the uh, third church of Marika because we want to pick up our flask of one of physique. Because we've already picked up the strength not crystal tears. We actually want to get the flask, we can actually make the flask. And I believe there are another couple here as well that we want to pick up. Um, as well as some, some tiny sunflowers, among other things. But we've got to be mindful because as there are big bears right where the map is, it's kind of scary. So we're going to kind of run through and then just kind of veer back up. And then we'll jump back down and we'll take on the Death Cup Tetris. If there's any time left, we might tackle another catacomb here, but I might save that for the episode after. So, without further ado, let's just jump to Agilink North. Boom. <coughs> Right, let's jump on Torrent. That was not what I wanted to do, but never mind. Are we going the right way? Yes, this way. You've got to like, learn to not travel at night. That's really not cool. So, we're going to run round the camp. We don't want to actually fight the camp. Yeah, this is the one, isn't it? Yes. Uh... What we actually want to do is run up this way, I believe. Yeah. I'll pick up the mushrooms while we're here. I feel like, yeah, we're going... No. What the fuck? Okay, whatever. Go this way around. I haven't got time to back about. Let's drop down here. Boom. So we'll get this out of grace in the meantime. Yeah, I'm going to jump back on turret. Not very far out this way, can we? So what we want to do is drop down here, I believe. Still some damage. Well, never mind. Poison Bloom, we'll take those. There's actually a cavern stake down here as well, but we'll come back to that later. Oh. Okay, that's what we want. Well... Where's the other camp then? Uh. Maybe that was where we wanted to take out. Who knows? Who knows? Oh, we'll ignore it for now. What we wanted was the... What's this done here? With the stone. So this is the artist shack. Now this is actually um, important. We might get around to this episode. We might get to... <laughs> around to the next episode but what we want to do is actually pick up this painting and what these paintings are um that you reveal once once you triggered the or activated the painting so to speak it actually triggers a career item will appear at a point on the map if you can find the painting that matches it now actually this i know for a fact this is around here somewhere there is a scarab helm or i think that's what it's called it actually reduces the cost of incantations at the increase of damage taken um, this is one of the reasons we pump it, because it's actually going to be quite good for us. Because we can use this and a couple of other items to reduce the cost of uh, FP consumption of incantations, which would be pretty pretty impressive for us. In the meantime, we're going to ignore that. We we don't need to worry about that anymore for the moment. So what we're going to do... Yeah, we'll sort that out next episode. So we've, we've got that. We've got the set of grace. We'll jump back to the map. We want to head down to... Well, get rid of this map marker. Don't need you anymore. And we'll head down to Map Market 3, which is down here, which we might be suicidal. We might have to go the long way around. Yeah. 
the drops and the drop the cliffs in this game are very very unforgiving. So I can get these ruins all over here. Get the sheep. He drops a sliver of meat. Yay! Okay. Now what we want to do next is actually pick up the map for the East Limgrave area. And try not to piss off every bat along the way. That'd be pretty ideal actually. The mats, the, the mats, the, bat, the bats can be pretty irritating to fight with, and you haven't got any like a ranged attack. Set up right. We've got this set of grace here, so we'll get you. So, and we've got to be pretty sharpish. If we do this, we will trigger a. Uh, yeah, it's a big. You see me? Oh no. Yeah. And there are some sunflowers on it. Is that. Oh, cool, the bear misses. That's that's a bonus. Right, we're gonna pull this tiny sunflowers over here. Not all of them, but just enough. Just to give us health as well. We don't not use a massive amount of holy pots, but they will come in handy in a bit. We have the spike crack tier, spike crack tier, the green spill. Now the green spill gives uh, increases stamina regeneration, which is quite useful uh, depending on what you want to do. And the um, let me stop for a moment. And the spike crack crystal tier actually increases charge attacks. Or oh, no, is it? Yeah. Yeah, enhances charge attacks. So that, that's actually pretty cool. We can stack that with some other things. Um, show you some fun things. We'll do that later. But in the meantime, uh, oh no, 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 no! Let's let's not kill ourselves. We're in a well, right? Let's go to the map. Now there is something here we want to pick up, but uh, but no. There's a side of grace down here. Should we just get that and then run back? Yeah. Let's see that actually. This might be suicidal. No, we're okay. Oh, there's a merchant down here as well, I remember. Oh yes, we can buy our other shield, can't we? That's right. Where is he? Dude? Where the fuck is he? On the other side. No, nah, that's not right, is it? I don't think we can get down there this quickly. Is it this side? Is he on the over there? I feel like he must be, right? Yeah, there he is. We might just have enough runes. It's better, we don't want to... Hello, mate. Yes, right this way. I'm coming. Right this way. Hey. Welcome, valued castles. I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. Uh, in real life. So, yeah, he sells... Armourous Cookbook 3, which will give us Exalted Flesh, which would be pretty cool to make. He also sells this, which is the Beastler Pot, which is less good. He also has some smithing stones. We'll do. A, we'll clean all these guys out smithing stones in due course. He also sells Trina's leader, which is very, very cool. But he does have the blue gold card shield, which is actually better than what we have, I believe. I don't know if we're going to be able to... Let's jump back. I don't know if we're going to have enough. Oh, yes, we can. Oh, yes. So we can actually buy two things. to so purchase... Yeah, okay, that'll do. Do we want... You know, clean maps with the become the rest of the stuff relevant. That'll do. Yeah. Okay. Bye. So that's, yeah, that's what we want. And now we're going to head back up to uh, what we originally came up. In fact, before we do that, no, we're not. No, but no, we're not. What we're going to do is compare shields. So the magic resistance is slightly worse on the blue gold card shield, but the guard boost is better. We'll sort that out when we get to our next um, cut of growth. Because we'll obviously have to put a 
thought I'd actually wore on to it, but the, the... Oh, yes. Where's that help coming from? That's actually important. We want that. Yeah, we'll ignore that for now. We do actually want to come back, but we'll come back here later. Well, once we get this side of grace, we can come back any time we like. Which is the main objective, right? Yeah, no. Ready to run fast. I forget about... Yeah, these room bears are terrifying. Um, they are incredibly quick, incredibly durable, and they hit like a fucking truck. Um, for us right now, they'll be incident. Well, not in... Yeah, pretty much, actually, incident. They're not fun to... Oh, shit. No, no, we can't be okay. Why can we summon here? What's going on? Ah, no. uh, that's what we want. Yes, 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 yes. Now I remember. So there's such a place here that we want. So I'll activate you. And actually, while we're here... No, we're not going to... Before we do that, we're going to pick up this. Crimson Crystal Tear. And a flask with one is physique, which I always call it physique, but it's actually physique. I think it's how you pronounce it. Um, and there should be a secretary here. So we'll travel back here and we will swap out our shields. Yeah, this is marginally better. This takes more strength. This is why we upgraded our strength last term, last video, last term, last video. And we will drop in here. Um, because we have this, we can now actually increase the amount charged, the amount gained from each flask we drink. Let's do that first. That's that other way. We'll jump to Ashes of War. We're going to put on here no skill. Yep. And then we're going to jump up to no. Mix Wonders Physic. So I think basically. Well, these are all good, but we don't have anything charged at the moment, so really... An extra HP flask would be good, but probably the best thing we could do is take stamina and strength. Because we start strength by 10 points, which uh, would effectively double our strength, which is quite significant. So, now, where do we need to go? We are... There is one more thing I want to get while we're here. It's actually around here somewhere. Yeah. It's actually another Ashes of the War from what we got. I mean, pretty handy for what comes next. Uh, get up there this way. I don't know if we can, can we? No, no, we should be able to. Right, there's a, a little teleporter down here which will come in handy later. Although... No, fuck it, I will. We'll do, this. we'll do that when it's relevant. Otherwise, I'm going to get sidetracked on this video. We're going to get miles and miles out of our way, and I don't want to do that. Dragonflies, hello. It's tortoise, hello. This is what we want here. Right, so we're going to take you out. Don't run from me. Stop. Ash of War Sacred Blade, this is going to be um, fantastic. It's going to boost our damage significantly. What it will do is allow us not to have to bother um, upgrading our weapon, essentially, for a bit. Because I'll kind of want to save our Smithing Stones for when we have a Brass Shield and Sacred Seal that we want. And the, um, the weapon, the Claymore. This is the sword we're going for. Is this mushroom here? It is, isn't it? Anything else on this map we can take? Uh, let me see. Might be my route. Oh, we ignore the walls. Was there runes here? Or is it the next one up? Next one up. we we'll ignore all these guys. Yeah. See you later. Bye. It's going to activate them all and they're going to be mighty pissed at me, but, um, fuck them. Pick the trees, really. We're going to need those. Hopefully if we get this item that I'm looking for next. There's a sort of grace around here, I think. 
But what I want is down there. Can we jump down there sanely? Well, what we can actually, what we can do is take the... Come on to village. Now, there's a boss here that we need to take down, but I don't want to take him down just yet. We'll do that as part of the core mark seal. We'll do the separate video for that, I think. Um, there should be a sort of grace around here somewhere. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there's also another merchant who has some goodies, if I remember correctly. We might do that very quickly. I shall cover as much ground as we can in this video. I want short, snappy videos for a while. Yeah. Just get us through. Um, there's actually an NPC around here. I don't, want to, I don't want to speak to him just yet. Where's this merchant? Well, I want to speak to the merchant who is also an NPC. There's a character. There's a quest. But I don't want to do. Don't, don't want to deal with it just now. Nope. Nope. I've gone the wrong way. All right. Well, we'll tackle this at a later date. In that case, go back down to the village. Come over to village. Well, it's village. They say it's village is actually a, a ruin. What we do want to do is drop down. Yeah. This side. We are going to want to clear this place out. There's a great talisman here, which is what we've got the stone sword key for, which is a. Uh, the green tail talisman, which is immense. Because it charges your stamina. Uh, we can't do this sane, can we? We'll die a horrible, horrible death. Yeah. That doesn't look like a very good idea. No. Ah, oh, shit. Yep. Well, there you go. First death of the series, apart from the beginning. Bollocks. Alright, well. That could have gone better, right? Could have gone a lot better. The upside, our rune should be at the very top, I think. What are we? Yeah, let's go get our runes back. Let's do that. Let's all laugh at the stupid nutbar, shall we? Let's all laugh. My nutbar, oh, you fucking idiot. Um. What do we want? Right, let's not run to our death again, shall we? How? Oh, what's the safest way down there then? No, that is where we want to go. No, it's this way. Yeah. Okay. It's the wrong bit anyway, because I really am an idiot, right? Okay. Yeah. This is where we want to be. Now. Give us some more runes, which is good, obviously. Um, but also, there should be a. I thought there was a cookbook here. Uh, I might have to look that up. Oh, I made a mistake. Back. Well, no, the runes are good. The runes are very good. But I could have sworn that there was a cookbook. The sleep pot. But I might have the wrong location. I'll have to look that up. I mean, probably we have the map, so we can find it at any time. But I swear that's it. Maybe it's there. Uh. I'm perplexed. I thought I could have sworn it was right in the middle in a, in a dead man's hand, but maybe don't jump to your death again, not by that's very foolish. Well, let's have a quick look. Well, that... well, I broke the horse's legs, but we're okay. So that's, that's a bonus. Might be down there. We'll, we'll come back to that. So we want to go stick to the plan. Although, before we do that, let's go get this. No. No. 
I want to get this mask one of the other Let's jump to the Church of Ella. No. First step up here. This, this way we want to go. Yeah, I'll show you what the purpose of that artist shack was for now. Be around here somewhere. Avoid the bats. We don't want anything to do with the bats, so a pain to fight. Put the mushrooms though. We do actually want to get down here as well. Uh, to cover. Because there's an ash of war we want. Uh, well, we don't need it. That bloke running around there. We need to kill him. He has like a gravity based ash of war, which is pretty cool. But there's also a talisman. Um, it's a Pell Drake talisman. Which is for holy damage. Mitigation, which is pretty cool. Um, this is what we want. Yeah. So if you don't activate the artichoke, you can't get this item. But we will. We'll get that. And there should be an uh, actual wall. There should be a side of grace. Somewhere. We might trigger that now. And then we can jump back to... Ah, oh, there's an NPC here as well. Should we speak to Yuri while we're here? Yeah. Get this done. Ah. Uh. You must be the new... You do well to steer clear of a gill lake, fledgling. A dragon roosts there, and it's as fearsome as it is majestic. So, unless you're mad, or wish to be burned alive, stay clear of the lake. What have I done here? Don't be a fool. Don't... I just want to spit the dragon. Well, to be fair, I'm I'm not gonna fight a dragon right now. I, it's the last thing I want to do. To be brutally honest, now where is this fucking side of grace? There's an item here, though, right? There's an ash of war there we can pick up. But don't you? Do we want that? Cover meat. No. I mean, no. Nah, it's that's. Unsheathed, but there's a giant crab rocks up when we kill it, and it could be a pain. Yeah, no, fuck. Nah, mistakes made. We'll come back when we can take them out easily. I don't want that. I'm like, I don't want to deal with that. Don't. No. Fuck no. I'm gonna jump back up here. Uh, we'll leave the crabs well alone. We don't need it, it's not relevant to our build. I just. The completionist in me wants to pick up all the items I can. And also, he showcases the videos, really. Um, but we don't need to worry about that. We're going to avoid all these guys. This leads into the Weeping Miniature. There's never jail there we want to sort out. Got this character here we need to sort out. We'll do that next episode. We might actually tackle that. Speak to this NPC, because he will help us kill the enemy down here, which uh, I get what it's called. Bloodhound Knight. Dar Darwil. <laughs> And that will give us a pretty spectacular um, quality weapon. Not relevant to us. It might come in handy here and there. We don't think we'll have the decks to use it anyway, but um, we want to do that because it will activate his quest because there's an item way up here in the Lonely of the Lakes area called the Carrion Filigree Crest, which you can buy from uh, a troll, troll knight, basically. And that reduces the FP cost of spells or incantations or I think it's both or uh, skills or anything in general um, so that combined with this scarab we just picked up you can reduce the cost of uh, incantations quite significant speaking of so quick look yeah this um, obviously reduces our poise by one puts our focus and vitality up by high which is good um, but it also reduces the cost of incantations. So if we just switch into caster mode, this is very, very handy. We don't need it right now. Uh, it's not really relevant what I want to do. What I, want, what I actually want to do is jump up here because we're running short of time. So the next thing on our list, obviously there's an NPC. We'll do that next episode. I don't want to do it now. So the next thing on our list, we'll jump back to the Warmaster Shack. And while we're here, 
the very next thing we want to do is slot the uh, new Ashes of War that we just acquired. Sacred, sacred Broad Swords, we'll pop that on there and that will jump up, uh, that will boost her, as you can see there, drops his strength damage down a bit but it gives us another 84 plus 9 um, holy damage which is pretty good. It's also got a, like, a ranged attack on it. So that's that little problem solved. And now we're going to jump on Torrent and we're going to find our map marker and we should pick up uh, another Ash of War. Nope. And then we'll go tackle the cave. There should be a lone knight wandering around up here they want to take out. Yeah, this guy. We might better try and take him out with. Pay for the needs to be, we can heal up. Yes, here drops Ash as well, which we and the Godric Night Elm. Ooh, wonderful. Which he will then put on a another weapon of ours. Oh, I didn't realize his horse stayed there. That's kind of tragic. Yeah. So this second blade, actually, I'm thinking about it, is actually phenomenal because some of the catacombs you take on, the skeletons that you fight, they actually revive. But if you got holy if you're uh, imbued with holy damage like that. Once you kill them in that state, they won't revive, which is pretty useful because they can be pretty obnoxious. Otherwise, ah, what I'm gonna do is actually run and grab a few. Um, there's a somber smithing side up here as well. We'll get that, get that in just a moment. This is a great spot to farm smelting butterfly for our fire pot. So we're using this. I mean, I'll be honest, most of the farming I'll do off camera, but um. So all I want to do is make sure we have a decent supply when the time comes for certain battles and whatnot. So let's go up there he is. Yeah. Something someone, that's what we want. I know Broken Shins. So next thing we wanna do. There are some a couple of other talismans we want to pick up in due course, but not for the moment. Uh, can we drop down here safely, sanely? We can. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. This is not where we want to be, though, is it? No. Next one. Uh, where is it? Is it here or is it tucked around the corner? I think it's just around there. should be a little doorway. That's where we want. Right. Use no, let's go in here. So, this we're gonna have to try and burn through this catacomb as quick as possible because I'm I spent a bit more time than I would have liked running around collecting things, but it you know, it's it ultimately, um. Got a lot of things covered while we're there because I won't have to go back and get them in other videos. Um, so basically, the way the catacombs work is there's either you'll find a door like this, and somewhere we've got to find a lever that will activate it. Once you've done that, um, we can come back and kill the boss. So these are what I was talking about. These little bastards. So when they disappear to when they disintegrate like that, that means they won't respawn, which is a deal for us. Yeah. Another one down. This is actually also what we want the holy pots for. We also want these, which are grave glove work. We'd use to we use those to 
summon. Uh, not summon upgrade. Uh, Ash summons. Right, there's another one. I hear you. There we go. Look at that. Kicking ass and taking names. So now, there's a couple of things I want to do. There. If I go through this little bit here. Should be some more skeletons, I think. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. And there we have each katana, which is an amazing katana, but we don't need it. We're not going to use it, but I thought. It'd... Oh shit! There's more. Oh well. Well, Tim. So we'll ignore that. There's more. Oh fuck you. Right. Nope. I'll ignore all of them. Ow. What's these? Uh, Grey Violet. I can't remember what you use those for. Does that lever should have opened the door. Give it a blood rose, which... What have you used to make blood grease? That's pretty good. Right, we'll take one of them. Run in here to avoid the skeletons. Maybe should we just go take on the boss? Okay, so we pretty much on schedule. If we finish about 35 minutes, it'll do nicely. So we jump up here. Could go finish the other skeleton if we wished, but I can't be fucked. Uh, let's run around here. This door. This bottom here will have the fog. Now. Now. We're going to take our Flask of Wonder Physique, which will boost our Stamina Recovery as well as our Strength. Which should boost our Attack Rating considerably, yeah. And then we're going to... Some of the walls. And then this guy should be half dead, so it should be relatively easy. Yeah. These Black Knife Assassins are a nightmare. Oh, wow, yeah. Okay. Watch out. Oh, nice. Totally by action, I might add, but whatever, right? Assassin's Crimson Dagger. Now this is pretty good for the build, uh, especially later on, um, because we've got as we go for durability. And the reason we want this is because now there are some other things here. I'll, you know, what? I'll explain when we get back out of the dungeon. When we get back to base, no base, the Sod of Grace, and we will talk you through what that's for, what we want it for. So uh, let's get the root resin, get all the things, get all the things that we need. Right, up here. Death fruit. Now this we will tackle next episode because this is actually going to be pretty useful because um, we will get ourselves. This is why I haven't upgraded our finger seal. Although we can theoretically, once we have our limited smithing stones, we can. Um, but what we want is a claw mark seal. But we needed death fruit to do that. But we can tackle that uh, next. Let's jump back to the entrance. Yeah. <laughs> So, why do we want to do? Why do we? Why do we want the assassin's crimson dagger? What it does? Let's chop it a thousand. Well, what it does is critical hits restore HP. Now, as we're using block counters a lot, guard counters. Oh, it's a block counter, isn't it? So every time, I mean, not the guys we want here, but on the bigger enemies that will they'll hit us, the bounce off the shield, we would count. We counterattack with a heavy attack. They'll be stunned. The attack that we then use will be with an R one, 
will be uh, a critical strike to restore any hit points we've lost. So between that and say, for example, if we were to get Blessing Spoon incantation and maybe the Ritual Sword, not Ritual Sword, the Blessed Dew Talisman, you can kind of be, on a, be in a constant state of regeneration health. You could constantly keep applying health. And it's not essential to the build. There are other ones. The I personally prefer the one that restores mana, but that's still pretty good uh, in the short term. So we're actually going to equip that. Because, for instance, so that back that we just got on him would have been pretty immense. Uh, what I'm going to do... Uh, you know what? We'll stay here. Well, we're going to level up. So we're going to start our quest. Before level up. Uh, next up, yeah, next thing I think we'll go would we'll deal with the talismans. So, I mean, we could carry on pumping figure, but I think I want to get strength... Or do we want endurance up? No. We'll get strength to our goal of 16. Yeah. Well. At least take a step in the right direction. We, yeah, we want strength is 16. We want basically want strength to face max, but we need strength 16 to use both the brass shield and a the claymore eventually. And also the Lord Swords Great Sword that we're using in the short term, because that'll be a much better sword than the broad sword. Um Yeah, but we'll tackle that in due course. So yeah, okay. That's it, I think, for now. I'm gonna have a think between vids. I'm gonna think what the best order of play is for the next stage of the build. But there you go. Look at him. He's pretty tough. We got got some. Yes, we've got a key talisman. We're coming on. Coming up in the world, you know. Look at him. Look at his handsome face. Look at him. All right. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye now.